In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop fullback dive on the red zone in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, this video. Actually, what I'm going to talk about a little bit is goal line defense in general. Like, how do you how do you get stops inside the five-yard line? That's really what we're going to talk about now, uh, and we're going to focus in primarily on, you know, kind of like the four- to three-yard line. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player. We do that through... Basically posting videos that are designed to teach you things like this, tips and strategies and tools and tactics that you can use um, to make you a better player. So if you are interested in getting better at the game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free for you to subscribe, and in my opinion, it really um, will help you get better because you're going to know every time we release a video like the one we're about to show you. And the one we're about to show you is actually really, really important in the big picture of a Madden tournament or being competitive in Madden and winning more games. And that is how to stop the how to stop in the red zone. Now, I actually have a full defensive ebook on the forty six playbook, and um, that is absolutely actually about to get a major, major overhaul. So, if you haven't got that yet, that link is in the description for you. But it's basically three three five wide nickel normal three three five four six three four bear big nickel. All of those things um, are in that product for you. So, um, anyways, specifically what we're talking about today is a match style defense in the red zone, and the reason why I like match so much they just play stuff so well um anyway the play is cover four quarters at a nickel normal and it might you might think at first like this is kind of hard to get into this really quickly but you see it's just one audible click over and the other thing you need to know is wherever the twin tight end side is that's the strong side so like in this scenario the twin um the the I'm always I'm almost almost positive you will almost always use or this left side safety right here. So what I like to do is I like to bring these guys I like to bring the safeties down off side of this guy right here. It's going to help with gap shoots. They're just going to pinch them in. But anyway, we're going to audible over here and we're going to almost always use or this guy. And all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line out. We're going to obviously blitz our user, and then from there. I like to leave the quarter flat specifically on the linebacker. If you don't want to do that, then what I suggest is manning that linebacker up onto, onto somebody. Another trick is you can just shade coverage down. The match coverage will do a good job. The only thing is your responsibility is the tight end. But really quickly, let's talk fo first focus on uh, run defense. So power O. And, and really all you're going to do is if you see power O, you're going to run right through the middle. So power O, I run right through the middle here. And as you see the safeties, and this is what is so good about this quarters, because quarters, your outside safeties are in the run fit. Okay, so in quarters, your outside safeties are always going to be in the run fit. The reason this matters is when you're defending some of these sets, you need all the help you can get. So you don't even have to move that safety on that right side. He's going to naturally come down anyway because you're in the goal line. But again, power O, and you'll see that safety comes over there. Now, part of the trick with this gap shoot, and it is a little bit of a trick, is standing in the right position. Um, to me, that's the hardest thing to master. You want to kind of be like right here to the left side. Um, that's I like to be the left side. I don't like to be on the right side. But anyway, snap of the ball, and that's more what we're trying to do. As you see, it is really difficult to do this with two controllers, but as you can see, um, this gap shoot right here is super consistent. And what I like about this is this allows you to stay in your your base set, it allows you to stay in your base personnel. So you might be saying, well, what about fullback dive? It should be pretty much the same. So if they run fullback dive here, you see, you're just going to come in and blow it up. Now, how do you deal with it whenever these tight ends start to come into play? How do you deal with that whenever the tight ends come into play? That's a great question. Um, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do um, for the as far as the tight ends go, whoops, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. So let's say that they're sending a tight end. You know what I mean? You, you have, you're having that issue with the tight end. If you don't crash them out, I find they actually will still open that gap up for you. But the tight ends, and you see there, see how the safety comes into the butt? See how the safety comes down? The other thing that I would recommend doing is clicking your joystick in whenever you, whenever they snap the ball. So, for example, let's say that you did, um, 
So crash them out. You're standing right about here. Okay. Now let's say they run HB dive at you. As soon as the ball is snapped, I'm clicking the right stick in, and as you can see, it's an instant hit stick. To me, this is huge. That hit stick right there is absolutely huge against HB dive. It also works against any 01 trap. Any 01 trap, the targeting gets messed up because you see we have this basically this five man blocks. The big key is you don't you see his blitz angle here. If he's to the right side, that's not going to be as good as if he's to the left side, in my opinion. The right side is already fairly well um, taken away because of this corner. And you can even do, you know, if you wanted to, you can shade coverage down and play hard flats. You're going to get every flat pass. The, the right side is completely taken away. The only thing you have to deal with is the left side tight end. Now, the three rec will do a decent job of that. But again, you just want to make sure if they do throw the ball, that you go to the left side. So you have the tight end, and then if they run a wheel route to the running back, that's also your responsibility. But anyway, another thing I wanted to show you is halfback dive, playmaker left. I think this is actually a really good tactic. But anyway, playmaker at left, you'll see here, it's 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 tough. It's tough to stop that run. Um, it's tough to stop that run in the red zone. Now, if you're going all-out run defense... Um, Let's say you're going all out run defense, okay? So you're not, you're literally not worried at all about the pass, okay? What I would recommend you do is I would recommend you blitz, you, you blitz both of your linebackers, and then this left side corner, you're going to man him up on the tight end, and then the right side outside corner, this this guy right here, I would recommend shading down so that he's in a hard flat. Now what you'll see is you still have pretty much everything taken away on that right side, but the thing is now you have more blitzers, and I would also man align so that that corner gets over the top of the, the tight end. Now a playmaker left dive you see is now blown up. This kills dive. It, it, it takes dive out of the possibility. Now what we haven't talked about yet is what happens when they do this, when they audible the goal line. It's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. So when they audible to goal line here, a couple of things change. The first thing changes is we don't have to be super concerned. Um, we don't have to be as concerned about the pass from goal line, in my opinion. But um, let me just show you the base defense. And this is for, this is for power O. They run power O. You run through. You see it works the same. Every, it, it, it's exactly the same from a, from a shooting perspective. There's nothing different. Um, and as you can see here, you're 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 wanting to grab the left side. You're you're wanting to grab the weak side safety. That's who you want to get. Now, what if they run power a weak? Power a weak's not a bad call here. Um, we are a little bit more weak to that side, as you can see there. But again, when you click the right joystick in, you might hear I'm clicking it in. That helps a ton with your gap shooting. It helps a ton with your run defense because it basically tells everybody to go. It tells everybody to go to the ball carrier. Okay, so if they run power O, um, let's say that they run power O here. Now watch what happens here. If they flip on you, which is probably what they'll do, and snap, you see that you still have it. The quarter flat comes out and plays that very well. Okay, the quarter flat will come out and play that very well. So you're going to be able to take power O either way. Either way they shake a power O, you're going to be able to take it. Right now, what I would recommend is I would recommend taking when you see goal line, take the triangle guy and blitz him. Don't blitz the quarter flat, you need that to take care of power L, but just simply blitz the right side linebacker. So you could easily do that by flicking your right, um, by flicking your I think it's your left joystick. I mean, let me put him in his own here, seam flat or whatever. Whoops, uh, did that wrong. Let me put him in a zone. Okay, and then you flick it to the left, right? Yep, flick it to the left. Okay, you can also just manually do it. Okay, but anyways, so now they're running fullback dive at you. Again, you're going to basically preset your controller down so that you're basically moving forward, but you're not actually moving. And at the snap of the ball, you're just coming forward. And 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 as you can see there, I mean we're 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 okay. We're not we're not great, but we're okay. Um, and we could be better. So again, you're coming down here. I like to pass commit because it makes people move faster. Um, that's that's another little tip. I don't think people talk about that enough. Pass committing, I think, helps a lot in the run game. Um, but here you see just blitzing that left linebacker. You could also spy him. Snap of the ball. 
come down and there you see and I never ever ever recommend hit sticking ever in the goal line they'll break the tackle um, so sometimes you might get a fumble unless you absolutely have to get a fumble or something but again you're sh you're shooting right here this this you do not want to be to the left if you're to the left it's not going to work and then the last thing is I want to show you fullback dive to the right side so um, playmaker they they playmaker this to the right and I want you to see here and again this is where it's really important to click in your joystick as soon as the ball snapped because that's what can happen right there so and that's the one thing that's the one thing that I think they might have with this if you are not um, if you are not blitzing that that middle linebacker that to me is the one thing so to close that off you just blitz him and then what I would do is if you see them audible bring this guy into the into the box more than he already is that will help that will go a long way and again it's an audible they play maker right and now you see the safeties in the position now you see we're in position to take fullback dive so we've now taken fullback dive away on the le on the left and on the right we've taken power o away now and we're still we're not blitzing everybody right we're not blitzing we're, we're really only blitzing i think four and even what I would do is I would even consider manning these guys up onto the tight end just to help with the pass in a situation where they you might think they might go pass. If you know they're running, don't do that. But if they if they might go pass, it's worth it to me to try to to try to get a pick or something. But as you can see here, that shoot does work. You just have to make sure that you you tackle um, with with the X button and not the hit stick. If you try to hit stick, you're going to be really really upset. Um, you're going to be upset with me. And again, when they move to the goal line set, you can bring this guy right here. If you bring him right here, he'll shoot down on the fullback dive, and then you have the ability to come in obviously over here. And again, I like to man these guys up, but that that helps the run. So like again, with an audible, you have time to move that safety inside it's basically if the wide receivers outside you leave him outside and if he's not outside then you bring him inside and as you see here this is hp sting hp sting is it's okay i mean it's okay it, hp sting for my money doesn't um i just don't think it's consistent enough so like watch what i'm talking about so you set your defense up here okay they come out and then what they do is they do this they audible just quickly move this guy here and get back on this guy maybe get back on this guy and now you're ready and of course halfback sting for whatever reason just gets open but um normally halfback sting is not normally halfback sting is not that that move and again so again you bring your guy here i want you to watch how fast we can do this bring your guy here you see that and you hit circle once bring him back come back right here and you're ready to go okay you're ready to go. And again, I think it's because we're not pass committing. Because pass committing does actually help the run game, which is cool to me. But again, HB Sting. And you can see we're able to stop it. Okay? So that's goal line. Um, if they pass, which I don't think I have a pass. If they pass the ball, you're in coverage. I mean, you, you have decent coverage everywhere. You're going to be able to take away the, the quarter zones will take away a lot um, inside the 10-yard line. They're actually really, really good. So I would use this defense, but anyways, this is what I use in the red zone. Um, it's been pretty good for me. Um, it's been pretty good for me. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you want to get the defensive ebook, that link is in the description. And if you want to text me and ask Madden questions or get my free text membership schemes, um, just text me. My number is in the description. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful.